Wondering how to do an invoice for your business? Well, watch on. As a business accountant, my team and I spent all day long helping business owners on their journey. And one key important thing you need to know as you get into business, if you're gonna invoice customers or clients, often we get asked the question, what do I need to put on there? What should be on there? And in this video, my team are gonna go and show you what you need to put on there. Now, if you like these type of videos, make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified whenever we release more just like it. So here we go, some of the team letting you know what you need on an invoice. So what is a sales invoice? A sales invoice is a document issued from the seller to the buyer. This is your written evidence of the sale. A sales invoice will list the details of the item, goods or services of the sale. The sales invoice will also include any payment terms and the amount owed. So why do you need a sales invoice? Sales invoices are needed to record all sales transactions through your business. These records then allow for accurate bookkeeping to be able to prepare your financial statements. Sales invoices are also an important tool to be able to help monitor cash flow, track your inventory, forecasting and budgeting. If you are VAT registered, a sales invoice is a legal requirement. All sales invoice records must be kept for up to seven years. So what do you need to include in a sales invoice? You need to include a document title stating invoice. You need to include your company name and address, then your customer's name and address, along with an invoice number. This is a unique reference number, ideally in a sequence order. Then include your invoice date and the description of what you're charging for. Then list the amount being charged. If you're VAT registered, you need to include the VAT amount and include your VAT registration number under your company name and address. Then the total amount owed by the customer and the invoice due date. Include any payment information at the bottom of the invoice, stating your bank account name, sort code, account number, reference number, and any terms. If you're a limited company, you'll need to add your company name, registered address, and registration number at the bottom. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. If you have, please do share this video with anybody you think needs to know this information. See you on the next one.